How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria tutorial. Today we're in the jungle and we are looking for an item called the Beezor. And you can see one here. It grants immunity to poison and is part of the Ank Charm, which is part of the Ank Shield. Uh, it's a 1%, 1%, 1 in 100 chance drop from moss hornets and wasps and all that good stuff in the jungle. And I don't know, if you've tried to farm it before, it's a pain. I don't like doing it. The jungle is an awkward place to fight in. And today I'm going to show you an easy to set up farm that will get you your very own Beezor. In fact, quite a lot of Beezors in no time flat. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay guys, so here we are in a really easy trap that I've knocked up. Uh, just to farm the wasps as quick as possible. Uh, they teleport into this little trap. And I've got the uh, actual damage dealing parts of the trap lower down, so there's a higher chance the bezoars will drop on your head. Just giving you a quick look in the loot chest, which I like to feature in all my traps to show that I've tested it firstly. Uh, it gets a, quite a good selection of items. Uh, you get some of the cobalt gear, which is actually pretty good. You can get that pretty early in the game. So you've got leggings, things like that. You get the bezoar, which is important. You could probably sell them for a bit of cash. Get stingers and jungle spores. No, you don't get jungle spores. They drop off the ground, Happy. What are you talking about? Crazy Happy. All right, you get some banners, get some gel, all that good stuff, some vines. So you actually get a few good resources too. Uh, I've got a water, plant, water candle planted and I hold one. Apparently that increases the spawn rate. And let's actually have a look at how this uh, trap works, guys. So I'm just gonna turn off the uh, good stuff here. So I've just got the actuated traps hooked up to a one second timer and they just help the mobs die in the little lava pit here. The five second timer is actually hooked up to some really basic dart traps outside. So let's just go out and have a little look here. So flying along, you can see these man eaters are almost dead. And the thing of that is you need some ground for the wasps to spawn on. Unfortunately in the jungle sometimes man eaters will spawn. And I thought, what's a way I can kill them slowly without killing the wasps? Because wasps are weaker than man-eaters. So, I just summon some ravens, get rid of the mobs. So what I did was I've set up some normal dart traps and I've hooked them up to a five second timer. And what that does is it'll shoot the darts across and I'm gonna take a hit here. Hits the back wall. If there's man-eaters going along there, they're gonna slowly take damage and the wasps should either hit the teleporter, hit the lava and die, or then get straight into the trap, nice and quick. And it's the same thing on the other side. Uh, I haven't got a way to get through to that side, so I'm just pu putting up the map. It's pretty much the same design. Uh, if you want the dimensions, some people have been asking for them. It's 80 blocks to the side, which is 80, 85. It's pretty much the max spawning distance. And I've got about 40 blocks, 45 blocks up above and below. Just sort of filled in. Pro tip, you can use sand to quickly fill in areas. And I've just got some lizard bricks underneath here. Uh, you don't have to have lizard bricks. You could just use uh, mud with jungle grass seeds. Uh, that classifies as jungle too. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. It's pretty easy to set up. You could do this with as little as one row, um, just with a dart trap. You could even just make a big box arena. And that would give you area to fight the lizard, uh, the lizards, the bats really. Oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> that would give you a really good location to easily kill the hornets. I understand some are flying down the sides, but I think about how many bezels we actually need, and that's one. So, you know, it's just a quick and easy thing to set up, and it'll quickly get you your bezel. Alright guys, this is the first episode of our mini-series on getting the Ank Shield. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like if you have. If you've got any improvements, as always, I love feedback. Please be constructive in your feedback and I always comment to it. And yeah. And if you haven't joined us yet, consider subscribing. Alright guys, if, let me know what you want to see next. And as always, stay happy. This is Happy Day signing out.